Mint, Lamar, thanks for joining me today. Certainly, boss. Of course, Mr. Baz Knight. As you know, you two as a team have been our most proficient and versatile dictionary models. Let me just stop you there, sir. You use the phrase dictionary models when we would just call ourselves models. We don't really make a distinction. The hell are you talking about? For instance, you wouldn't call Gary Cooper a television actor. You'd call him an actor whose work has occasionally appeared on television. You wouldn't call Secretariat a racehorse. Okay, not the best example, Lamar. You'd just call him a horse. Actually, you would call Secretariat a racehorse, because that's what he is, so... Enough! Gentlemen, this is a dictionary company. We make dictionaries. Your job is to pose for a line artist who then renders you in a position designed to provide an example for a word. You are dictionary models. Well, we're just going to have to agree to disagree, Mr. Baznight. Look, I didn't ask you here today to argue about semantics. I asked you here today to talk about the quality of your work as a team. Oh? When I first brought you in here, I was a little leery of the idea of a dictionary model team. We'd never done anything like that before. But I have to admit it worked out beautifully. At first. And I've been in the dictionary business for 30 years and I've never... Never seen work like Dutch Door. Really magnificent. Yeah, that, that was, was a good great one. one. Although you couldn't see my face. But lately, lately, you two have gone a little, how should we say, off the rails. Oh. Really? Now look, I can understand you two teaming up for jobs like visors and life preservers. And I can even see a place for it in something like, say, sandwich. Now all of those you could make a case that there should be two of you. But pillory? Come on, I just don't understand what there's two of you in there. Well, we're a team. And speaking of off the rails, just what the hell is going on with Fez? Hmm, Fez? Wait, which one was that? Uh... That's the one where I'm wearing a Fez, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the one where you're wearing a Fez. It's also the one where, for some reason, Mint's in the background battling a fucking walrus. Oh, I can't take credit for that one. Look, I saw the walrus in the prop room, and I've always wanted to wrestle a walrus, so... You wrestle a walrus in your own goddamn time! Really? Can I borrow the walrus? You don't have a car, Lamar. What are you going to do, take the walrus on the subway? Maybe. Well, you're not taking it in my car. We could put the top down. And Lamar, just what the hell is going on with all the pointing? What? The pointing. Oh, it's my thing, I point. In a drawing of a man blowing an alpenhorn above the word alpenhorn, we do not need another man to point at the alpenhorn. It's redundant. What's redundant mean? Jesus, Lamar, you work at a dictionary company. I just don't understand why there has to be two of you in the same picture. Why does it have to be two of you? Be because we're a team. Not anymore. I'm splitting you up. What? We'll quit before we work alone. Well, let's just hear the man out, Lamar. Go ahead. Quit. I interview people all the time. Just today, I talked to a man wearing a breeches buoy. Hack. So that's like a one-trick pony. Anyway, we can do breeches buoy. Say, for instance, Mink could be wearing the breeches buoy while I'm doing something like, say, pointing at it. No more goddamn pointing and no more team. Split up or you're fired. That's it. We quit. I don't quit. I'm totally fine working alone. Come on, Mint. Let's get out of this place. I am comfortable right here. What? Yeah, totally fine. But you're part of a team, remember? I'm a model first. Feel free to take the rest of the afternoon off if you need. Nope. All set to get back to work. What's my next assignment? <laughs>